हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इन न्यू सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस आई एम ऋतु एंड टुडे सेशन इज अबाउट दैट व्हाट इज द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वर्डिक्ट ऑन अडानी हिडन बर्ग केस सो टुडेज पॉइंट्स ऑफ डिस्कशन आर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यूज एंड देन वील हैव अ ब्रीफ बैकग्राउंड अबाउट दिस टॉपिक एंड देन वील ऑल्सो एग्जामिन दैट वॉट आर द एलिगेशन विच हैज बीन पुट ऑन दिस Adani case and what are the key takeaways of SC verdict related to this case and practice question for prelims. So moving to the news part. So what news said that yesterday Supreme Court had delivered a judgment and its verdict says that there was a main crucial verdict is that the case which was supposed to be transferred to the CBI or any other agency from the SEBI. So Supreme Court has said that it will not transfer from the SEBI because SEBI is a regulatory body for such things and it works very aptly. So this is the highlight of the judgment. So in latest slides we will discuss that what are the key takeaways and what are the other highlights. But overall this is the highlight of the judgment that SEBI will examine whatever the cases are remain into this a particular controversy so moving to the background part so what is the background so uh, in january 2023 a new york based research agency whose name is hiddenberg research accused that industrialist gautam adani led conglomerate of bra brazen stock manipulation so the research agency has accused for the brazen stock manipulation and it had also accounted that there is a fraud and there is a scams happening into this kind of the particular Adani group and because of that they are taking unauthorized advantages from the investors. So this is the accusation and there are others accusations also but this is the main accusation. And because of this report the Adani shares has been slipped and Adani who used to be number one rich person of the whole world had slipped its ranking from 22 sport in 2023 so this impact it has shown because of this and many investors uh, discouraged to invest in the adani group but however uh, the adani also came with it, its own kind of version and they had given the statement and in 413 page response they had stated that the this particular research agency has attacked their agencies and they had manipulated and they had spread misinformation about their stock manipulation and other things so that's this is the background and later uh, at that time we have seen that there was a slip into the adani shares group and so many investors didn't want to invest in that thing but later it got recovered but at that time there was a loss of uh, nearly 100 dollar billion but it got recovered after some time. So this is the background and because of this case there were so many agencies became active and SEBI has been given the authority to examine the case. So moving to the next one which is that what happened uh, other. So on 2nd uh, March last year uh, the court had asked the SEBI to examine this thing because SEBI is the regulatory authority for the stock market and if any frauds and scams are happening into this kind of thing then SEBI is the suitable authority to examine such kind of the things and we already had covered the role of SEBI in the economy primer so if you have any confusion related to the SEBI and what is the structural problems and what are the basic criteria which is related to the SEBI kindly refer to the economy primer of Drishti IS. And along with the SEBI regulatory authority, the court had also asked that to form a committee and the committee was headed by Justice A.M. Sapre. And what the committee's main role to find out that what are the irregularities happen in the Adani group and what is the role of SEBI into this. So here not only SEBI is the regulatory authority, uh, here the committee has also given the responsibility to examine the that roles and functioning of the SEBI and whether it's working in a good direction or not. So this is uh, about this case and then what are the key takeaways from the yesterday verdict. So the first key takeaway is the transfer of investigation from SEBI to any other agency not warranted. So this is the highlight of the yesterday uh, judgment that the Supreme Court had not allowed that this case should be transferred to the other agency. Many petitioners had said that it should be transferred to the CBI. But it said that 
in any case if uh, there is a violation of fundamental right or if anything which harms the dignity of the nation and which uh, harms and impacts the integrity of the nation in that case the supreme court has authority to change the allowance from sebi to other organization but in this case sebi is the regulatory authority so it's the work of sebi to examine such matters so uh, moving to the another key point which is unsubstantiated allegation of bias against export committee members so we already had discussed that there was export committee formed by the court and uh, so many petitioners said uh, namely the anamika jaiswal had said that whatever the group and whatever the members of the committee they are very biased in nature and they had previously worked with the adani agency so in that case they cannot give the fair judgment and there is a conflict of interest and this is not uh, this step has been not taken in the uh, interest of the investors but the court has come up with this statement that this allegation has come up after the 6 month of forming the committee if there is a particular kind of the problem then it should come up earlier also so in that case also they had said that the committee is not biased in nature and the committee had also said that whatever the seb has taken the measures and whatever it has examined that are not irregular in nature so that are very legal in nature so what are the other uh, takeaways we have o o o c c r p report cannot be regarded as credible evidence so there is a ngo whose name is organized crime and corruption reporting project in short it is called as occrp so this ngo has also examined various thing regarding the stock manipulation forgery and fraud happening into the stock markets and regarding this hindenburg research groups but the court has said that they cannot have reliable evidence from the any third party and the ngo has not authority to examine such kind of things they do have right to examine and they do have right to know about that what scams and what forgery is happening and they can file petition and they can argue in the court but their evidences cannot become mandatory and you cannot force the court to follow the evidences which has been given by the occrp the organization so this is the mandate of the court regarding this occ rp uh, report moving to the next one which is seb and center to probe if hidden work short selling amounted to a violation of law so uh, the court had also come up that many investor has said because of the stock manipulation and because of the hidden work research and anal analysis so many investor has to face loss so the court has uh, asked the seb that whether it comes under any law if any investor has faced loss because of that and if it's come under the law then a suitable action is required to take against all those people so the court has given the task to the seb that if there is any violation of law regarding all these processes regarding the publishing of report regarding the stock manipulation regarding anything and if it's come under any law then you should inform the court and you should take suitable action also so this is the task given to the seb moving on to the next one which is volatility in adani stocks in the aftermath of the hindenburg report did not pose any systematic market level risk so we already had discussed that when this report came then there was definitely a fall in the adani shares but uh, later it revised and uh, the court has observed that any uh, problems and any uh, loss is happening it's on the individual basis it's not because of the discrepancy in the market system or discrepancy in any regulation given by the any government authority and they had soon recovered also so the court has said that if anything has happened in the market system discrepancy or any problems with the regulatory authority or if any problems with the law then the, it must the court has the uh, responsibility to rectify such kind of the problems but in the observation it's on the individual basis and it's not because of the government's fault and it's not because of the sebi's fault and it's not because of that particular research so the court has not taken the responsibility of such faults and such losses so this is the court's verdict regarding all such points moving to the next one which is the practice question for prelims because here we had discussed about the shell companies short sell 
so maybe in prelims examination it can be the question from this session so that's why i have given you a question on the shell company a shell company is the best described as and your options are a publicly traded company with a diverse shareholders base a dormant business entity with no operational activities or significant assets a company specializing in the manufacture of protective coating for industrial use a subsidiary established to conduct research and development for the parent company so kindly answer in the comment section and in mains also maybe there will be the question on the indian stock market and how a research organization or how any report can damage the market system what are the factors which can affect the market system so maybe there can be potential question for your mains examination but that's it for today's session if you have any queries related to this session kindly ask in the comment section and the pdf of this session is available on telegram so kindly avail from there thank you